Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erujian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission will be. <laughs> Radio communication yeah. is still patchy for Radio both the military and, and civilians, so we're, we're getting zipped right. from mission command about our orders. Still, with countless Erujian forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, Regarding Count's suggestion right. to think about self-defense. Uh, really? Magola? It was already blown up make a break just for Tyler years ago. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Yeah. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. So much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. Hey, it's good, decided. guys. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the Erosion forces. <laughs> I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Pick a fast craft. Okay, I'll try to match it. Whole gang's here this time. Smart worker turns just us. Sorry, attend your own team. Since they fixed our craft here, I thought we'd try these new babies out. Pick. Perhaps I should try without this for one. Yeah, right. Please, we need help. 
Wagtail is on the Ocean landing ship. What's going on? What did you say? Multiple boat is inbound. Damn it. Prepare for anti-air combat. This is the hey, Ewax long the dock. The aircraft in your area belong to the LRSSG. Now my aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. ID complete. Target acquired. Robin Bond. Woohoo! Update us on Tyler Island. Couldn't be worse. Our forces are scattered on the run. They're on the run. Forces. Take out any hostiles in their area. Nicole. Don't engage the targets are ID. The boots on the ground don't need more people shooting at them. Thanks. It's absolute chaos out there. The illusion trees are starting to fight amongst themselves. Well, now we know what's going on, but shit. Yeah. Back to the supply ship. Hey, take one down for. We don't need to defeat them. Just delay their advance. Got it? 
Ah. Piling stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. 
start feeling ah. the two of you are still alive. Remember, stick with Trigger and you'll make it. I can deploy. Fireworks. This thing had any windows, we could have seen it for ourselves. 
Nice work, team. We're gonna find ourselves a boat and leave this island. We'll be taking the refugees, along with any deserters from the Erujian military. Who's the girl that ran at the tanks with the smoke canister? A few more crazies like her, and life down there may have been a tad bit easier. What do you think would have happened to those refugees if you hadn't intervened? The princess saw what happened. They were little kids. That's why I like the sky. You don't have to see those types of things. Does this mean we're that much closer to ending the war? No, we just basically prevented it from going on forever. Count's right. We have no choice but to return to our original base. Our base that is nearly out of food and fuel. We need to do something. Hmm. Well, we're out here, people. Good. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Hmm. Good work in sinking the supply ships. Not to mention saving the refugees. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Can't say I blame him. Now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. Uh. We found a boat, then sailed away from the island. We had to. We didn't belong there. The new guy's name was George. I noticed when the anarchist said his name, he said it with a thick Belkan accent. How did you know that he was from Belka? Well, both my parents were from Belka, so... You never told me that. They say that Belkans are known for their conspiracies. That's just a stereotype. Now, I simply stated my honest opinion and was thrown in jail for it. The princess sat there looking miserable. That was a dumbass stunt she pulled back there, but it got us on this boat. Take a look at that. This ship is heading for a single rope that's hanging down from the sky. Do you know how far the end of that rope reaches? Outer space. No. It is a direct connection to the very potential of mankind itself. Or at least it was until war erupted. It's my strong belief that the rope might be connected to a very distant, faraway source of, of great conflict and strife. Even long before the war, the whole world started falling apart once Harling began trying to build it. I often wonder, what was going through Harling's mind when, when he was trying to destroy the very thing that so many people were sacrificed in order to create. Sacrificed? What do you mean? But have you seen all of those countless old space shuttles on Tyler Island that are no longer in use? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought of them as a good source of scrap. They're an obsolete technology that was abandoned during the construction of the space elevator. Which would mean that if the space elevator was destroyed, it would be that much harder for mankind to reach the stars until we find another way. But even then, Harling still went ahead and tried to destroy it at the cost of his own life. That's not the way I heard it. What I heard was that he sacrificed himself to protect the tower from an incoming missile. Oh. I was told he tried to fly his ship into the tower in order to destroy it. 
I wonder which story is true, your royal highness. I don't know. Looking at it objectively, it's reasonable to believe that Harling had both options before him. When it comes to which one you think he took, I guess it's like a mirror. Yes, it is. It's like a mirror looking into your own soul, based on whichever choice you believe it was. At the moment, though, I can only see darkness. I think... I think that thing should be destroyed. The Allied forces are retreating, and survivors are gathering at the northern port of St. Arc. However, the radar facilities atop Mount Shesna provide tactical support to the enemy. As a result, our evac mission is in jeopardy. If our troops can successfully evacuate and regroup at North Point, they will become a formidable force in future battles. Your mission is to destroy the radar facilities on Mount Shesna, thereby blinding the enemy and hiding our troop movements.
Radar facilities confirmed destroyed. All aircraft take vector 180 south. Use the return line on the map to exit combat area and return to base. Fly in the right direction and you'll see a white dotted line across your flight path. Those of you who need to resupply or refuel during missions should cross this line to exit the combat area and return to base or carrier. Approaching return line. Follow the controller's orders for landing. Mobius 1, perform landing check. You are cleared to land. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. Slow down, speed's too high. Nicely done, Mobius One. Go and prepare for your next sortie. With their radar out of commission, the enemy's command and control is degraded. The evac and regrouping efforts are proceeding as scheduled.